more than the twins. Uh, Sorry. But, uh, uh, it's hard to say why. I guess growing up near Dingley, I watched a lot of Iowa Cup games. I got used to the minor league ball uh, when I was young. All right, now for the regularly scheduled jokes. I guess that was the Simpson couch game. Uh, <laughs> Well, uh, yes, uh, as long as I live life and pay attention, I've got things to uh, tell stories about and jokes about. Like, uh, driving to work this morning, uh, I uh, saw graffiti, uh, and I guess you can see a lot of that in any big city. This one said, Baby Jesus Sees You Masturbate. Or, <laughs> no, Watches You Masturbate. And it's like, oh, is it one of these people that believes that God is everywhere? Okay. Uh, I guess I've seen uh, less provocative graffiti than that, and more provocative graffiti than that. Uh, I wonder how long it'll be before they decide to paint that one over, because that can happen with graffiti. Uh, and while we're on the subject of babies, uh, that uh, gets me back to one that I guess has been on my mind since we were still performing virtually, where uh, I uh, spoke of... Uh, the jingle I hear when they ring the doorbell at my workplace, where uh, Ski said there are probably worse songs to uh, listen to than uh, jingle bells like uh, Baby Shark. Well, I looked up <laughs> Baby Shark. It's the number one viewed video on YouTube. And I didn't know uh, about it right away, probably because I don't have kids. But when I watched it and listened to it, I'm thinking, yeah, I think we had something like that as a kid. I remember somebody teaching me that at camp where there was Baby Jaws. So, as a high school teacher once said, there are no new ideas out there, just new versions of old stories. Or as the Bare Naked Ladies song uh, once said, it's all been done before. Uh, and another thing I, I didn't know about for a while, because I don't have kids, would be uh, Peppa Pig. And that's because <laughs> I, I saw one of those uh, Peppa Pig items in a discount bin at the Holiday Gas Station. It's like, oh, there's some chocolate in there. Yeah, I'll have that. And I'm going to try anything at discount bin when it's cheap. I guess that's the point of why they up the discount bin. It's not selling. It's the clearance section. That's how I first got Lady Gaga Oreos, too. Oh, all right, on to the next subject. Famous people used to sell food. I know that Ski liked that one when I spoke of basketball players being used to endorse cereal or promote movies, uh, like Shaquille O'Neal and uh, LeBron James. Uh, most recently. Uh, I found out there uh, are some historical figures that are used to sell food, uh, although uh, it's decidedly different than basketball players. I, when I was a kid, I was reminded of how I would see Robin Hood brand flour and Joan of Arc brand uh, kidney beans and chili beans. Now, that's decidedly different from basketball players endorsing your product because one is English folklore and the other became a religious martyr. Uh, with intellectual property laws probably non-existent back then. I think it's called public domain and really cheap to use the name. Uh, that also explains why some songs are almost the same, like uh, Green Sleeves and What Child Is This? They even said that about, what is it, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. That's basically the same as some classical song. I was in a French movie one time and I laughed my ass off when a piano player proved that. Uh, oh, uh, and I know Shaky Dog, that was mentioned last time, except it wasn't the uh, Shaky Dog movies. But I looked them up because I'm a stodgy academic. Uh, Wikipedia said there were five Shaky Dog movies, and like many Disney movies, it's based on a book. There were three released in theaters, starring Fred McMurray, Dean Jones, and Tim Allen, and I was pleased they actually got somebody decent from one of the TV movies. Ed Bagley Jr. was in one of the TV movies. I'm not sure which Shaggy Dog movies I saw. It was probably just the one with Fred McMurray. When I think of Dean Jones, I think of Herbie the Love Bug, the VW Beetle car that had a mind of its own. Those were cool movies. Uh, but Disney movies, what, what are you going to do? Uh, oh, I saw my college roommate over the 4th of July. It's always good to connect with somebody that knows me well. And there are a few people I've known longer than him that I still know that I'm not related to. So. Uh, yeah, longevity. We uh, should celebrate that, and I sure do. Uh, we did grilling at his place, and I liked how he introduced me to something comedy-related. It's like a non-comic, somebody I knew before I did stand-up, helps me with comedy. Who knew? 
Uh, he showed me uh, the Canadian uh, comedy show Letter Kenny, which I guess is on Hulu, and I don't have that service, but I can find it on YouTube, which is free. And it's like, oh, they deadpan things, uh, and they're really intelligent. It's like, yeah, that's my kind of comedy. I've said that before. I'm a history major. Don't expect any dick jokes out of me. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I just scratched the surface on Letter Kenny, but I already like what I see, so, uh, yeah, there's probably more that uh, I'll get to say about that coming up. Uh, and, hey, Canadian comedy, um, as they once said on The Simpsons, America Junior, so it still works. Not much is lost uh, on uh, the terms they use. It's not like British English, anyway. Uh. Oh, and I'm still doing the Redbox movies on the weekend. This one was uh, called Alone. Two movies called Alone. This is the thriller uh, in the Oregon wilderness. Now I have another Alone movie to find that I guess Donald Sutherland is in. Uh, but uh, I like thrillers, so it works for me. Uh, because even when I'm uh, watching movies, I want to be challenged. And then I went to a festival, too, because I like buttons and I like food, drink, and music. So I guess that'll do it for me. Thank you all. been great. Woo!